10 mistakes everybody missed in Money Heist. There are lots of television shows out there which you are probably aware of. And as you will be spending lots of time at home just being in front of your TV screen, chances are you've stumbled upon the Spanish thriller La Casa de Papel, better known to English speakers as Money Heist. The show has blown up since its release in 2017, and Netflix dropped its third season on July 19th, which you probably binge-watched over the weekend, because it's probably the most gripping show ever seen on screen. The show focuses on a planned heist on the Royal Mint of Spain by the professor, Alvaro Morte, and his eight robbers. The first two parts were aired as one season in Spain, revolving around robbery and character development throughout the tension. Money Heist has become a big hit for Netflix as the most recorded and most watched foreign language show on the streaming service. The show also received the International Emmy for Best Drama Series in 2018. People can't get enough of the heist, and we can't blame them, right? Well, maybe they're not aware of this spoiler alert everybody missed in Money Heist. Number 10, Rio breaking up with Tokyo. Youthful age is the period of choice and decision making, which most of the time comes with its own mistakes and lessons to learn. That is true for Rio, the youngest out of the crew, with lots of mistakes that come with his youth and lack of wisdom. Once he was rescued, Rio told Tokyo that he could not be with her. What he didn't realize were the consequences that would come with that decision. He didn't take the time to think about what that could mean for Tokyo. A loose cannon easily set off by the slightest thing. The rest of the team and the mission in general. All he thought about was himself. His decision sent Tokyo down a dangerous path from which she still hasn't recovered. That was a terrible mistake, I suppose. Number 9. Professor Not Killing Palmero When a professor seems to have all the answers when it comes to robbing banks and getting the team ready to do their jobs, there tends to be a few mistakes as well. And that is true for Alvaro Morte and his eight robbers. The fictional character in the Netflix series made a few errors. And even though not as huge as some of the others, his actions did have dire consequences. After Nairobi was shot by Gandia, and it was revealed to him that it was Palmero's fault, the professor had a chance to put his foot down and show that there will be no rewarding for a traitor's actions, but he did not. He should have ordered Helsinki to kill Palmero, but he never did. His action enrages Palmero more and teaches Gandia how to escape when his hands are tied. Gandia raises hell on the crew as he tries to kill Nairobi on her deathbed. Whew. Do you hate Gandia for this? I guess part four will make you hate him even more. Number eight, Helsinki not protecting Nairobi. When you think about one of the most laid back characters on the show, Helsinki comes to mind. On the outside, he resembles a madman, but on the inside, He's a big teddy bear. Well, not the last. The worst thing Helsinki ever did was to follow an order. As Gandia roamed the bank freely, Helsinki was ordered to go track him down, which turned out to be a major mistake. With Nairobi nursing her injuries, someone reliable should have stayed with her. But even with the chaos going on, Nairobi was left alone. What if Helsinki would have stayed with her instead of leaving to follow orders? This may be a decision he regrets in season five. Number seven, Denver blaming Tokyo. Denver's mistake was blaming a team member for another's actions. In Denver's mind, Tokyo is to blame for his father's death, but Moscow made his own decision. Yes, Tokyo returning to the bank after she made it out was a risky move, and one that could have been avoided, but Moscow decided to have the shootout and stay outside slightly longer than he should have. With his father bleeding out, Denver placed the blame on Tokyo, and as time passed, Denver got over his grief. But was that storyline resolved? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Number six, Berlin in the treatment of Ariadna. 
Watching Berlin in the first two seasons of Money Heist did his character no justice. Berlin was the hothead who took orders from the professor, but viewers were led to believe he was just waiting for the right moment to take over. Then we learned his backstory in seasons three and four, and everything fell into place. Berlin loved his brother, yet he was still a monster. The worst thing Berlin did was when he not only gave up his own life, but sacrificed that of Ariadnes too. Number five, Raquel joining the professor. Acting as a single mother during the first two seasons, Raquel played a major role in dealing with an ex-husband who wanted control. Finding herself in tough situations, Raquel was smart enough to figure a way out. But then she took a phone call from the professor and everything changed. The worst thing Raquel has ever done was getting drawn in. Although she did it for love, the professor used his influence over her to get what he and his team wanted. In this process, she lost her job, her life, and was a phone call away from losing her family too. Number four, Tokyo leaving Rio on the island. The end of season two saw Rio and Tokyo leaving the crew and finding themselves on their island. While still in the beginning stage of their newfound wealth, freedom, and love, something strange happened as Tokyo became restless and made the biggest mistake of her life by leaving Rio on the island. She just didn't know how big it was and what it would cost her at the moment of her decision. But her action prompted the professor to get the crew back together for another heist and save Rio at the same time. But by doing so, they lost Nairobi, and by the time season five is over, they may lose even more. Number three, Denver's real identity. Most of the heist fans were left excited by the final episode of season four as it set up a possible beginning of the fifth series. The latest season was brought to a conclusion with the team reuniting after a troubling set of episodes. However, rewatching some of the earlier scenes in the show, viewers spotted a glaring issue with Denver and his real identity. During season one, Denver tells Monica, Esther Acebo, the one thing he was not supposed to, his name. In the episode, he confessed his name was Ricardo. Although this was quite the revelation at the time, it didn't stay consistent during the rest of the show, leaving viewers confused as Denver was referred to as Daniel by his family during season four. The team was earlier deterred from revealing any details about their personal lives, but Denver gave up his name pretty quickly. Could it be an unexpected continuity mistake or a misdirect from Denver himself? But considering he was later referred to as Daniel, could he instead have given a false name to Monica? What do you think? Let's hear those thoughts. Number two, Palermo's character sketch. Rodrigo de la Serna, Palermo. Entry onto the scene made everyone think that he was gonna bring the heist to a level where every government authority would be left startled. But unfortunately, Palermo did nothing but disappoint everyone, including the audience with his every move. Though Palmero is loyal to the job, that's always been his main focus from the beginning. But still, his team is now his family, and he didn't have their backs. When the professor turned over leadership to Tokyo, Palmero lost his mind. It was no longer about the team or the mission. He was out for revenge. And helping Gandia to escape, he had no idea the amount of terror and heartbreak that decision would bring. Number one. Nairobi telling Berlin a secret. Though Nairobi is a fan favorite, like everyone else on Money Heist, she is not without her demons. Her biggest mistake was taking everything for granted. Nairobi's a wild character. She'll do whatever she can to get ahead, but she let her emotions control her actions, and that's what caused Berlin to make a bad decision and sacrifice Ariadne's life along with his own. Nairobi overheard Ariadne's plan for Berlin in the middle of a heated debate with Berlin. Nairobi hit below the belt and told Berlin Ariadne's plan. If she would have said nothing, then Berlin and Ariadne would still be alive. And if you ask me, that was the most costly mistake ever. What do you think? 
That is it on the list, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and hit the red button below this video to subscribe for tons of amazing videos coming up soon.